Last time on Harmontown, after being released from skeleton bondage and finding the Marsh Minotaur, our heroes began to plot their escape. Together with the Minotaur's aid, the gang trekked back to the hole from which they fell, and using his teleportation cape, Sharpie quickly found himself topside. The rest of the adventurers weren't so lucky, and and found they had to climb up Meredith the Minotaur's crazy, ridiculous ladder. As they ascended, they were beset by their greatest fears, pumas, long-term relationships, and not having the appropriate crafts. Mulrain fell from the ladder in terror, but eventually the gang faced their fears and climbed to freedom. And then they all gathered around a fire while Sharpie sang an old dwarven spiritual... But what would they do now in the harsh, unforgiving, frozen wastelands of the North? And what of their skull curses? Let's find out this time, hopefully, on an all-new episode of Stuff Thing Happened in Harmontown. With a, with a soundtrack that's getting a little Cagney and Lacey right there at the end. Just kind of little, you know what I mean? That, a little... That Cagney and Lazy part kicked in right at the right time, <laughs> too. Yeah. Spencer has an innate sense of that kind of stuff. I want to make a bit how, about how I want Spencer to be at my bedside <laughs> recapping my yeah. blackout drugs, but oh. I know I probably made that bit uh, well, during some blackout drunk at some point. And, you know, he's been doing it for like three years. Yeah. <laughs> you really you know don't remember that. that. You do not remember that. <laughs> Every night. Uh, so Spencer, skull curses? I don't know. I think I called him Skull Curses the last time I did an intro, but uh, yeah, I remember when you got uh, you were you were on, under court, and then you were like, you gotta you gotta kill the Marsh Minotaur, and then you were like, what if we don't? And then they were like, you, you gotta you're gonna fucking die. All right, gotcha. Yeah. All right, so we did it. Kind of. All right, so are, are, are we with we're with Mer- Meredith the Minotaur right now? Yeah, and you're you're up. You're you're finally above ground again in the frozen wastelands of the North. You're you're around this campfire, you know. You're digging it. You're kind of enjoying having climbed up this ridiculously tall ladder. She uh, she starts pulling the ladder out of the hole and then is like looking around the ice trying to figure out where you guys are. And we put uh, I, I take I take my compatriots aside. Well, M- M- Marsh Marsh Minotaur, what's her name? Uh, Meredith is Meredith. Yeah. Well, she handles her ladder, and I go. Uh, did didn't they? I think they put like. Uh, timers on us, didn't they? Wasn't there some yeah. kind of ticking clock? Like yeah. they know if the Minotaur gets killed yeah. or not? But, but now she's our friend. We can't yeah. we can't just kill her, can we? Why don't no. we why don't we take her back and be like, hey she's cool. Maybe that they'll understand, mm-hmm. right? Don't you think so? Well I don't know if you've uh, met Sharpie before, but yeah he's he's not good with authority. No, but you're okay with well, uh, Yeah, I mean better better to do that than than kill I don't know why she gave us this shitty ladder. It was a bad. It was a bad ladder, but it got us up out of the hole. It's the best ladder she had. Am I still taking puma damage, or am I healed up? Now? No, <laughs> you haven't healed. You've taken uh, what is that? Twenty twenty damage and puma Christ. damage. Is my damage. dick still cut off and in a pit somewhere? Yeah, well, it's in the very pit you just climbed out of. Shit, my dick was down there. <laughs> hey, can I use the ladder real quick, right, guys? We're, we really are. T- you know, we're tight on time. Okay. I mean, I did you? Sorry about my. Do you okay. absolutely need it? Yeah. I mean, you, do you need yours? Well, you're a falcon. He's a falcon. falcon. And, Don't and, you know? I feel like okay. How about this? I'm just gonna run down. Can I? I just want my dick back. We're in such do a I hurry. Do I still have it's my so, old one? Your what? I mean, I changed no. sexes. Do I still have my old dick? No. Okay. <laughs> the extra dick. parts don't. Just I know fall. we're in a hurry, and we're there's in a such timer. a hurry. And but I wonder, maybe somebody will have some power that regenerates dicks. Oh, we'll get we you, gotta we'll, move. We'll get man. you a magic dick. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't want a magic dick. I want my dick. <laughs> I I know how to work magic with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. But can we promise once we're done, we'll come back and grab my dick? I, I don't think we can promise that. I mean, if only we had, if only we well, well, had a being that could fly down and yeah. grab well, we it. We could send Falcon de- uh, uh, Avenger I, down after the. Dick. That's so funny because I just went down there and there was this kind of thick but short worm. <laughs> Oh my God! Was it circumcised? It was worm. Sorry, yeah, yes, that's worm. my dick. I'm so sorry. What did dude. you do with it? Uh, well, oh, what no. do birds do with oh, worms? No. Oh my God! Were you the early bird? 
Did you get my morning wood? The good news is it was fine when I vomited into my children's mouths. <laughs> Adventure, you have children? Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, burying the lead. Let's focus well, on. We, I mean, we've just never had a chance to talk about our personal lives. Uh, no, I, and I know. I never. I know. I want to all the time, and I feel like I. Uh, Jacob is eleven. <laughs> okay. Did he eat my dick? <laughs> he, the eleven-year-old. He ate. He regurged. He, he re-ate. re-ate. Re-swallowed. Okay. Walk, just keep an eye out on their stool. By the way, he wants to write. <laughs> really? Jacob, Jacob wants to write. Well, did you sign he, wrote a, he wrote a community. He wrote a spec community. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was very good, but would you mind reading it? Yeah, I, absolutely. Great. No okay, problem. Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like a season sp- four spec. <laughs> yeah. One yeah. Of those. <laughs> yeah. It was heavy on Jonathan Banks. What season was that? <laughs> That's I don't this know. one. Oh, it's this one. Yep. <laughs> okay, so he's, he's watching him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're leaving the dick. No, the, at this fine. point, really, the dick has been. I, yeah. In game time, I think the dick's been severed so long that it does seem reattachment. Like it. You're thinking like a modern person, like it, like my falcon says. It's you have more more chance of growing magically a new dick than you do of like surgically doing anything with that. Yeah. I have a backpack and a sewing kit. But I don't have the there. dick. No, I know, but I'm just saying. If you guys right. want to go back right. down that magic ladder. No, but he said he. No. It's, it's lousy there's with no, promise. There's no dick. There's no dick. I, I go up to Meredith and I say, Meredith, look, here's the deal. We were uh, we, there was a contract out in your life, basically, and we, we, we're we're supposed to kill you, but you 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 saved our lives more or less. You got us out of the pit. We're not going to do that. We Good. Should, we're going to take you back to the uh, to the people. And I mean, is, is that the way to do this? Well, we also have what did they do? They cast a spell on us or something? On oh. our souls, yeah. on our very souls. If we if we don't if we don't if you're not dead within a certain period of time, like we we basically die. We're fine with that cuz I fucking hate authority. Uh, like I would rather die than do anything that these assholes want me to do, but I'm just wondering if you can think of help us think of any solution to this. Um hmm. all right, terrific. Uh, of all the people to be a hero for, Eric, on your souls. Yeah, yeah. that's like a timer. I don't know, man. You'd have to, you know, deal with something, someone crazy magic to try and knock that off. Are you crazy magic? No, no. But you know somebody. No, no. Yeah, you do. I just know that there's magic that exists, and sounds like you got magic, and other magics can. Meredith's right. Okay, we gotta get these. Bomb, spell bombs diffused from us before the deadline. Aren't, aren't you a magician? Can't you, don't you have any spells that can do this? Uh, yeah, I cast Charmed Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the first to admit. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm kind of new at this. Out. He's open micing. Magician. What about the Tarragon? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we still dealing with... We have to go to Paradise and find the Tarragon of Virtue to get to lift... Uh, Krista Berg's spell too because it, it, it sounds right to me. I've got a couple things going on. Yeah, right but now. one of those is just getting lower can, on can the we use, Can we, we use we Meredith? We are not going to be able to do all of these. We can't. <laughs> Meredith, do you know where Paradise is? Can we? Would you ladder get us to Paradise? Uh, well, if we found it, we could probably get up there with the ladder. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I don't know where it is. God damn it. For Christ's it, sake. it floats around. Does it exist? It's 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 on an, uh, it's it's, uh, it's on this physical plane. But yes. It's above us. Yes. We just have to find it. Yes. Okay. What kind of creatures do business with them? They right. they must have I- imports and exports. I don't I don't know people. I guess people probably live there. I don't You've know heard of them. Can we, send, can we send Avenger to go fly around and do some recon for us? I mean, I could just check Avenger. It out. Yeah. Go up in the air, fly okay. around until gonna, you bump into a paradise. I'm going to go look for it, and again, I won't be able to pick up okay. your, your yeah. thing. I don't mean to beat a dead no, dick, no, no, but no, if no, you no. see one. I can't do it. I can't do it, because now they want me to do this thing where I fly around, and I got okay. go. All right, well, go. in your travels, if you happen to see one, just grab we're it. Gonna, I know we're going to we're gonna get you such a nice magic dick, you're, gonna, you're not, you're yeah. not going to miss I don't the want one. a nice magic dick. I just want my dick. We're really in a big hurry. I'll right. tell you, if you ever do want to save time, you know, there's this thing called stamps.com. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to really quickly just go for it one more time. Sending, sending letters is getting faster and faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I, I fly up. I fly up. I have no sheet or anything, but I just fly up, and I, I, I'm communicating with, with one of these earthbound creatures. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Your friend. Whoa, what is that? I what? think I saw... Well, what the heck is this thing? Is it a dick? Paradise. You're looking for paradise. It's like a this is. It's like a. It's almost like a really nice condo development. 
<laughs> Paradise Gardens, it says, but that... <laughs> could that be it? Uh, yeah. They have a 24-hour health club? Yeah, so you see that. You with your, your, your hawk eyes. That's... It's just floating in midair, apparently. You see that, uh, and then you you feel like you should return and report what you saw. Guys, yeah. my hawk says he saw a, a city that could be paradise, but he fucks around a lot. Like he, I mean, it yeah. could be a bit too. I can't tell. It's not a bit. No, it's not a bit. I, it, may, it, but it does look like a condo development. How high off the ground is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, I can do it in wing flaps. It's like 28, I don't even know, like 2,800 wing flaps. What is that? What does that even translate into? Spencer, how, how many, how high is that? Uh, you, you look to 28 wing flaps or whatever high, and you, you see nothing. You wonder what the natural landscape and environment and temperature normally is for a hawk. It's probably not freezing. Oh, so it's not crazy oh, high. There. Is. Or he's nuts. Because he's crazy cold. high. Or there was a there was a headwind. <laughs> or there's a headwind. Have you ever flown? I mean, did you know anything about it? <laughs> no. How many flaps do you think? If, but I would say, all right, if you want a number, I would say it's about two hundred right, feet. Two hundred fifty. My, my, my hawk has lost it. We gotta we gotta just traipse across this fucking tundra until we either die or come to a place where somebody. Uh, can help us get, find paradise. Yeah. The, what a terrible. Is Coco nearby? Coco's here. Coco! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess that's how I call her now. Um, I jump on Coco and I and I ride off trying to to uh, scout. All right. Well, in uh, in what direction? Uh, all, all. <laughs> so it's just like a rapid, slowly increasing circle, like a spiral. Seems inefficient, but go for it. Uh, oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. There she is. Uh, one. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, uh, away, She's a little farther now. Uh huh. Away. Not from much the... farther each time. <laughs> away from the hole. Mm-hmm. Uh, my the way I live my life. Uh, away from the hole, towards like. <laughs> don't ask what. Just think about it. Uh, the, the like the the place where the where where I would think the most tarragon would be. Maybe like the greenest tarragon? spot north northeast. Oh. Northeast. You head northeast for uh, some time. You, you don't really see anything until uh, until you might see something. Yeah. <laughs> Until you happen upon a brown sack. You should take that. You should take that. You found a brown sack. Sorry, I was distracted by Adam Goldberg's uh, yes. ringer, which was his mom saying, you're okay, you're doing yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> Adam, Adam Goldberg's ringtone is is, a, is a an older woman's voice saying, just tell him you're doing the best you can. <laughs> Stay true to yourself. If they don't like you, then they shouldn't have been your friends in the first place. I don't think Adam needs to be told to be true to himself. <laughs> if anything, he's got that down. Exactly. I like so put it on vibrate. Coded as Jewish. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I find a brown sack. Yep, brown sack. Um, and you see it from your horse. It's one of the only things that's anywhere in the snow. Okay, I, I uh, dismount. Uh, I, I give Coco's mane a very quick brush just to let her know that I still have her in mind. And I approach the <laughs> sack and I, uh, I I inspect it. It it looks like it has uh, writing on it. It does have writing on it. Um, it's written in Gnomish, though. Can it says read? Mountain Dew. If you guys are... <laughs> Do you read Gnomish? How we pay the bills, guys. I read, I read Elvish. Okay, so you can't read it. It's some Gnomish letters that you can't understand. But it's okay. definitely a sack. Okay. I, I'm a gnome. I pick up the sack. <laughs> I put it on Coco. And I uh, return to the party. That happens. So anyways, uh, that's how you tie a rope. <laughs> 10 cc's. I think it's a Tennessee. Ah! Quark, quark. Uh, yeah. Oh. I need. Uh, I, I was just finishing my famous uh, uh, Doctor Tennessee joke. You're uh, you're intimate with sax. You're huh? intimate with sax. Oh, right? oh, 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 oh. I I recognize the writing on that as gnomish. 
I thought Jeff was literate. Ooh. <laughs> Who's Jeff? Who's Jeff, motherfucker? Yeah, you, you a cork. I'm a liter I can't read my own culture. I guess not. Shit. <laughs> oh shit. Do you know like are you in touch with anybody you could talk to? We flash back to Quark as a little kid. When when did, he's not going to get did, me anything. When did we establish that he was illiterate? Uh, it's actually not, it's not on there anymore. My, my old character sheet, I am. I oh, yeah, that's right. Because the Pathfinder, Pathfinder barbarians aren't illiterate. Yeah. Does he Does he admit so, to it? So, yeah, you're good now. Oh. Because of oh, Pathfinder wait, wait, rules. Oh, what? We changed books. I learned how to read. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, so you can read it. It's like a uh, fucking Keanu in Matrix. That's how you learn how to read. Like, oh, I can read now. Wait, okay. Keanu Reeves can read? Uh, are you cool with that, sir? I've uh, I mean, never heard anyone say that. Uh, that, that. That's pretty amazing knowledge that you remember that makes sense. Seems like that should be rewarded more than us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got it. It's, it's Spencer's world. I don't <laughs> this guy knows. It's Spencer's world. You're just remembering I, I, every I pick tiny up the, moment of it. I pick up the bag and go, guys, I can't read. And I look at it and go, whoa. <laughs> I, I know gnomish. <laughs> Sound it out. Huh? Sound it out. It says Bill Mardigan's. <laughs> Apparently, it belongs to a guy named Bill Mardigan. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's the name of like an Irish pub. <laughs> no, can Quark, you tell Quark, me where you... he abides? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Rooney always used to do that bit about him. He'd be in Shakespeare or something. You know? Can you ab- tell me where the solicitor abides? <laughs> <laughs> That's Bill and Ted. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh... I- Cork, you recognize I, I, Bill Mardigan's as, as a as a gnomish as a gnomish name. You know, you haven't you're not in touch with your gnomish roots, so you don't really know what it is. But it definitely it rings a bell in your in your vernacular. I open the sack. You open the sack and out pours golden light. Whoa! That's all you can see is golden light. I bend backward at the hip, like kind of like the do- dodging the light. That happens. That yeah, happens. You guys see golden light spill out. I mean, nobody does golden light like Bill Mardigan's. <laughs> I, I just want to, and I know I've been plugging a lot. So. <laughs> BillMardigan's.com for the best golden light. They do it best. Yeah. They'll come to your house. If you want and light and you want it golden, there's only one place to go. Get a sack of friendship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's it? What's in the? What's in the bag? Bill what's in the bag? Mardigans. <laughs> yeah. So there's golden light up in this bag. It's just pouring out. You can't even see into it because it's so bright. Well, I'll tell you. I, I reach into the bag. You reach into the bag and you feel around. It feels like like a solid dirt ground. Like you're reaching into the ground. Ah, uh, it's really good, you guys. <laughs> Can we try and put the gold back in the bag? It's light. Well, I'll ask the question again. <laughs> Can you put? It feels like ground at the bot. Is it, does it feel like there's a spatial differential? Like, like if you reach your hand all the way down into the bag, does it? Oh, is it like Mary Poppins' bag? Is that what you're asking? Yes, it's like Mary Poppins' bag. It's does like anyone that. have high knowledge of magic? Well, okay, someone tell me who's seen Mary Poppins. What? It's that just means. a bag that. <laughs> because what, as what? far as I know, what? here's how that movie goes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fix it, Dan. Some chick shows up, flies around on a, uh, 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 an umbrella. You don't remember her hand? And everyone dies. Oh, she's know. got a wonderful bag. I've never seen Mary Poppins. Everyone but what, what, what does it mean? What does it mean? It just she has means a bag with it where everything can fit. It's bigger like, than it looks. A bag of holding. Bag of infitude. What? Yeah, it's like a bag of holding. Yeah. Infitude? What did you say? I may have said that. I don't She's know if I wanted to be. Well, wait, did, did you, didn't, Mulrain, didn't you say it felt like earth or dirt inside it? Yeah, it feels like dirt. So Pull some dirt out. I, I don't want you to tell me what to do. I reach into the bag and grab the earth that she feels. Yeah, you can dig in with your fingernails. It's not like a, a loose soil. It's like packed dirt ground, but you could get a, a bit, a bit and of it. Grab some and pull I it out. I ask again, does anyone have detect magic? Obviously, it's a magic... Type thing. Yeah, so detect it. 
I, I don't have detect magic. I, it's been detected. It's a fucking bag that doesn't go by bag rules. So you reach in it and there's... It's, it's a magic bag. Save a spell. I pull out some of this dirt. and want to hold it up. Look at it. It looks like dirt. And I throw it and Very I hard. spit Very and I, I, I twirl. I twirl around into the tundra I poke, yelling I, about my dad. I, I poke my head... Confident in my knowledge of that, that no, Bill Bill Martigans? Uh, Bill, Bill, Bill Martigans. Martigans. <laughs> He's like the HBO guy, but I, I, I poke my head. It's going. I poke my head in the bag. Uh, you poke your head into the bag and you find yourself in a warm city bathed in golden glowing light. Guys, I poke my head in the bag. I think we found paradise in a bag. It's nice. in a bag. Paradise in a bag. Get in there. Can we if, fit in there? That's. I thought that was. If cocaine. you want to find paradise, you go to Bill Mardigan's. <laughs> Let's go in, guys. Wait, can we fit in there? Yeah, we can. Guys, it's a whole it's city. It's a whole. It's a whole beautiful city in here. But if we go in there, then we're in a bag that anyone Yahoo can just find, like we did. Is it, should we should we first find a place to secure this bag? Um, my recommendation is we dig a three by three hole. Well, um, we're talking in Minecraft terms, like, and then we we put it we put it down at the bottom, and then we all go into it. Well, no one can. Maybe we should put well, a sign. Your, your whole life, you've been trying to get away from holes. <laughs> right, I mean, isn't it? I don't think. I'm just. That's a reprise. That's yes. not my take. It, it, on someone you, died. You called back something that nobody, yeah, I, nobody, nobody. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have uh, no well, skills well, at this. One part. of us could wait while 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 the rest of us went out and and, and I mean this, this this bag is sitting out in the middle of yeah, the yeah. Come on, who's gonna? Well, what's the worst they're gonna do with it? They're gonna stick their hand in it and yeah. they're gonna get in a big argument about what it is and <laughs> they'll how either come in or they'll leave it there. It's but, like a portal, probably, right? Maybe it's a portal. It's not really doesn't have anything to do with what you don't stay in the bag. Yeah, maybe. How do we get out of the bag then? We have that ladder. We should use the ladder so that we can cr- climb back out of the bag if okay. we need to. Uh, the I, ladder of fears. I, I volunteer to go into guys. Uh, yeah. Guys, I'm, I volunteer to go into this bag and uh, devil may care. Come Why on. don't we send you and the bird? Because the bird can fly and fly back out of the bag. Okay. Eventually. <laughs> Not to be this person, but I wanted to go to the, in the bag a long time ago. I want to go in the bag. She did find the bag. And I would like to go into it. Okay, I, I, I've always I, dreamt of being I, I, the, I, the person I, I, who jumps I, in the bag first. I take my foot out of the bag and go, ooh, sorry. <laughs> and I, I do a like, ooh, yeah, and I like puff my chest out as much as I can. All right. go, uh, you, uh, Ladies first. Go ahead, Mulray. All right. I jump into the motherfucking bag. Head first. Mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> Seems unnecessary. I don't it know why does, you have to take that risk. Yeah, that was have a backstory always, that hasn't always been Always make an entrance. Uh, I get that. Yeah. All you, right. You dive into the bag head first, mouth open. You find yourself in this warm city. You, you find yourself jumping out of a similar bag into this warm city. You hear the sounds of chirping birds and babbling brooks. There's a small gnome sitting on a small toadstool, smoking a small pipe and fiddling with a comically large shoe buckle. It's Bill <laughs> Mardigans. <laughs> Hi, uh, me and my friends were looking for the uh, Tarragon of Virtue. You are, you're a, you're a, you're a person. You're a, you're a. I'm uh, bewildered. I, Alice in Wonderland. What's uh? Greetings. I'm Fizzbulb. <laughs> hey, hey, Fizzbulb. What, what is this place? And do you know a, a Bill Mardigan? This is Bill Mardigan's, the town that's everywhere. Huh. And it's Dollar Shrimp Shooter Night. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, am I able to call up to my friends? Yeah. You you jumped in here through a bag, and then there's a similar bag on the floor that you climbed up out of to get here. So you could probably okay, shout into it. Can I pop my head out? Yeah. Alright. It's cool, guys! Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, Holy oh, shit! Don't ever, ever shit. fucking do that again. <laughs> it's like the God. ending to seven. Damn, I just shit, I shit my pants. I just shit warm. in my pants. It's real warm. 
God damn it. What's in the bag? You guys gotta come down. (laughs) Why is she so out of breath? I know. (laughs) It was awkward. We were in the middle of her funeral. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't know. If you if you if you go Not down the bag, do you come up out of the bag? I, I I open the bag and call down. Is the bag that you're coming out of upside down or is it right side up? Yeah. <laughs> I cinch it and throw it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's go in, guys. Let's go in the bag, everybody. All right. Who who wants to? I mean, I go. I go next. I mean, so. you're already kind of half in the bag. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nah, All right. I go. I go. I go. Nah. I go down. Nice. Head first, mouth open, nuts up, ass wide. Yeah. <laughs> ankles deep, ball nuts. Nuts up, guys. I got, I got my ankles behind my head. I got to fight. I'm like, I'm ready. I, I I'm 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 huffing a tape head cleaner to dilate my asshole as I go to, as I go in. That's a thing I learned from the gay community. Great wow. attitude. It's a great open mouth nuts up attitude. I love it. Yeah. I'm an advocate. I go in this bag an advocate. Faggot neighbor, is that you? <laughs> Faggot neighbor! Is that what that huffing thing is called? <laughs> another name for poppers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I jump in also with my whole hole where my penis used to be. <laughs> that happens also. You guys jump through into the Bill Mardigans. Soon you're, soon you're all there. Yes, we're all there now. <laughs> so wait, this place is called Bill Mardigans? This realm? This yeah. place? Yes. Are Fizzbulb. you Bill? No, I'm Fizzbulb. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. I mean, how would I know that? Fizzbulb. <laughs> Fizzbulb, what, what is this place? This is Bill Mardigan's, the town that's everywhere. The, Who's, the town that comes with a side of coleslaw <laughs> and cornbread. Are we? Is, 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 is this paradise? No. It's, <laughs> I like to think so, though. All right, enough, Fizzbulb. <laughs> Don't fucking sell us on this town. <laughs> Who's Bill Mardigan? This is Bill Mardigan. <laughs> okay, is that's the name of the town? It's not a person? No. Well, it is might be a person. Let's not rule that out. I don't know. <laughs> I just know it's the town that I love so much. What goes on here at uh, Bill Mardigan? <laughs> There's all sorts of fun. There's smoking and riddles and horseshoes. <laughs> One of those things. In that order? Awesome. <laughs> it's a fuck. It's a fud ruckers. Let's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it. there's a fixing bar. A bar with all kinds of salsas and horseshoes. Uh, it's big. Well, we should eat the bar. Oh <laughs> They're smoking should... and riddles and horseshoes. <laughs> this place has almost everything. <laughs> there's, there's no. I, can't, I can only There's no medicine. Yeah. There's no education. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Because I wanted to smoke, she wanted to do horseshoes, and he wanted riddles, and we were like, we're going to have to make three stops. And 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 we all want cornbread. Yeah. (laughs) I don't don't have a lot of time. He doesn't have a lot of money. (laughs) Bill Bill Mardigans. What... What uh, what doesn't I mean? Like you're, you're clearly a guy that loves living in Bill Mardigan's. What doesn't this town have? What's what's your main problem with Bill Mardigan's? I don't have any problems with Bill Mardigan's. <laughs> Did you? Oh, oh, maybe he's not a lot to say. Shit, oh boy, you sound you, you got a little ominous there, Fizzball. <laughs> Bill Mardigan's is a place without problems. Okay. Hey, hey, I, I buy it. All right. I, 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 why is there one tear running down your face right now? <laughs> That's just part of my charm. <laughs> uh, Fizzbot, do, is there? Are you, do you do you sit here or do you guide people around? Yeah. You can't come in without answering a riddle. Oh, oh snap! I, All right. I was hoping we'd get to the smoking first. I, I love okay. riddles. <laughs> As a, as a gnome myself. So, so our, I, now we already... Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I already... <laughs> we can't get in without answering a riddle, but we already know from his sales pitch that our reward will be either horseshoes or smoking. <laughs> or more riddles. Or riddles. Right. It's just riddles for more riddles. Yeah, guys, guys, guys. It's in this the is bag. a terrible town. It's in the bag. I'm a gnome. I'm a gnome. I love smoking and riddles. This is, this is, this is right. it's a slam dunk. Give, give, give us your best shot there, Fizzball. I don't really like this one, but uh, 
What has four and then two and then three? I don't really like riddles. The number 423. Yeah, that's the actual answer. Is that it? He does a flip. Oreo tower with extra what? fudge. Wait, stop. What? The number 423? Yeah, it has a four, then a two, then a three. But also, isn't that an analog for the riddle of the Sphinx? The yeah, and everyone answers that way. My personal favorite answer is a gnome with an engorgement potion. Wait, what? Penis, penis? Oh my god, you have that? No, it's a riddle. I mean, you, you want an engorgement potion? Have. Yeah, I want an engorgement por- potion. He, he you should go to Bill Mardigan's. For fucking great. If you want a brand new dick, you go to Bill Mardigan's. <laughs> Wait, so it has you know, four can... things? Riddles, smoking, horseshoes, and replacement penises? No, <laughs> just potions of engorgement. And other stuff. Other oh, we got all sorts of potions. All right, well let's go, guys. Right, well, it's ten o'clock. We made it. We made it into Bill Mardigan's. It looks like that's a cliffhanger, huh? Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, maybe we can get like a beeper and it'll buzz when when you're ready for <laughs> us. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to close the show. Uh, Fizzball, uh, what? Uh, so now that we have access into Bill Mardigan's, what what lays in store? Or lies in store? Lay lay lies. I mean, it's a it's a lovely place. There's all sorts of stuff lying in store. Is there ski ball? There's ski ball. What's that? There's <laughs> when you go to Chuck E. Cheese's and they have the thing. It's like it's, it's like Rolly horseshoes. Oh, like Rolly horseshoes. Yeah, yeah. It, that is the best description of ski ball I've ever heard. I bet the pitch was Rolly horseshoes. Rolly horseshoes. <laughs> you like horseshoes, but you don't think it's Rolly enough. <laughs> ski ball. Yeah. Micro bowling. No. <laughs> it is? No. Yeah. no. Horseshoes is, yeah. All right, well, oh. guys, guys, looks like, looks like we walked into a, to a nice bag and we're in a, <laughs> we're, we're in a, ro- a warm city full of uh, whimsical creatures. Yeah. I don't know how else we could, I mean, we, we, you know, we have to still end the show. All of your skulls burn red hot with a blinding surge of pain. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, we were what? so close to being out. I can't oh my believe we out. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're just dizzy momentarily as this pain is just throbbing through you, and then it recedes. Jesus, it recedes. You still feel a burning in your it's, soul. It's the wow. shrimp shooters. Wow. It's the, you don't want to use the the old shrimp shooters. <laughs> Wait, does it, did it maybe disable the soul bombs? You yeah. don't know, man. I think that was a reminder. Not, not. Not comfortable. No, I, I, oh. I, it sounds like the shot clock is ticking right now on our, on our skull curses, our soul curses. I think it was like when they, when they do a fun X-Files like episode, but they felt like it was too fun, so they end with the smoking guy like <laughs> looking at a car. That is exactly perfect. Yeah. That would happen. It was just like a fun yeah. one where a guy's yeah. too lucky, and oh, at the end... Like, I guess that guy back. was made out of algae. Yeah. And then, and then they're, like, they're like, yeah, but for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Day of coming. <laughs> yeah. Cliffhanger! <laughs> All right, thank you.